How small can a Wi-Fi signal jammer be without losing effectiveness? That's the question I asked myself when I started making this video. And this is the latest version of my Wi-Fi signal jammer made in Arduino, the most compact I have been able to create. In the first version of the project I only focused on what works. In the second, it was already a little more portable, without loose cables and with a custom-made battery with recycled steam cells, but it was quickly scrapped as it was not viable. But it is in this third version that I have maintained all your specifications and I have managed to reduce its size by at least half. To arrive at this design I went to the most basic components of the project. The ESP development board we used in the video above to make. The outer one that you will have at the top right right now. A battery. A charging and discharging module for the battery and a switch to turn the project off and on. Now it's time to take all these components and sit down to design a case where they all fit. To then upload this file to the 3D printer. And after waiting for a couple of hours to achieve this result. Having all the parts here, let's go with the assembly. To glue the components of this assembly we will use hot silicone and we'll start with the battery. Putting a little bit of hot silicone at the base of the case and proceeding to glue the battery. Then we will put a little hot silicone back in and to proceed to paste the board of this project, the Wemos D1, the one that is basically going to create the Wi-Fi network and it's going to be the work of inhibitor. Now we put back another little bit of hot silicone so that you can now glue the charging and unloading module, which will be the one that will allow us to charge the battery and then discharge it in order to administer what comes to be the electricity of the project. And now the last thing that would be left would be to flip the device over and we placed him a switch to be able to turn on and turn off the next times we are going to use this device. This time it is pressurized, no silicone. Now we would move on to the wiring part. The part that in part, I like the more and I hate the most because not only does the issue of it work, but also has to be certainly nice and not to be too very messy and well the truth is that the electronics of this project are quite simple right now you will have the diagram on the screen so that you can follow it in your homes and like this recreate this project and finally it would be left to place the metrical a plate that the truth is that it was quite difficult for me to put it in because it goes quite hard and in this project i opted for this metrical a plate because i like the idea to see the electronics inside which also complicated me a bit. Because of course, I usually don't leave the electronics inside very pretty. I leave it functional. Like I said before, but it's harder for me to leave it well wired. But I think it's undeniable that the end result is. It's magnificent. Simply. It looks fantastic. And here we would already have the final inhibitor. Now we're going to do some small tests. The first thing is we're going to see if it loads. Yes. The function of charging and download you have. It goes or it doesn't. As we can see there is the little red light working, the pilot, which means it's charging and when a little blue light comes on, it means that it will be fully charged. Also so already having the connection a charger. Let's hit it on and let's see if we really already get the Wi-Fi network as we can see the pilot LED has been lit and now we start looking networks here you will be watching on the screen with a mobile phone that I have here next to me that I'm recording the screen to make it look better and as you can see there it comes out there we have the Wi-Fi network in which we can connect in order to control the attack from the website generated by the module itself in this video I won't do any attacks but if you want to know how to install and how to use the program and everything, I will do it. You have up there here on the right end, a little card that will be coming out now. And that's how my latest version of the 3 Malawian Quacha Signal Jammer looks. This version is the most compact I've ever achieved and I want you to leave your opinion in the comments on whether I should try to make it more compact or should I make another model looking for more effectiveness or looking for other types of things. In addition to that, I invite you to subscribe and follow me to see the next video where we are going to test this same model in a little more thorough testing. Goodbye.